Mounds of undelivered mail found in the trash on the southwest side. People living nearby say they've been having mail problems for months. CBS 2 Stephen Graves was there when postal inspectors showed up. Trash day in North Lawndale. It meant Ted Robinson did his usual search for junk in the alley near South Ridgeway, but this time. Trash guy, when he saw it, he was surprised too. Yeah. And it said, these some mail, this some mail says somebody gonna be in trouble. Piles of fresh mail pulled out. Some pieces were dated back weeks. Should have been delivered, but it wasn't. How dare someone Throw our important mail in the garbage can. Neighbor Chelsea Johnson might not have ever heard from her niece at basic training for the Army. She was struggling and she needed me. For two weeks, I supposed to have been on my knees praying for her. So she and her husband gathered some of the other tax documents, checks, and letters. With this being a federal crime, they called 911. This past week, we didn't get we mail three know. times. What? Three times we did not receive mail. The problem has been going on for about a year, but when the mail actually does come delayed. Piles of mail. So I'm like, something's going on at the post office. In the past, she's been told staffing issues are to blame. CBS2 went into the office at Ogden and Pulaski today. We asked for management, but we're told no one was there. They were out dealing with an emergency. That emergency could have been due to U.S. postal inspectors coming out after we sent emails. We've been reporting on similar postal issues in Wrigleyville. Last November, another woman caught a mail carrier on camera dumping documents along with the mailbox. Who's not managing? Who's not paying attention to this? We don't deserve this. We do not deserve to be treated like this. And those are all very good questions. We'll continue to push for those answers. Another frustration today for people who to report this to. Read what police and the Office of the Inspector General had to say on CBSChicago.com. Stephen Graves, CBS2 News.